everyone. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. So happy to be here on this lovely Thursday. It is September 2nd. We just started a new month. I hope you're all just doing amazing and staying safe out there. There's a lot going on in the world right now. So stay safe, please. Stay safe, please. If you don't know who I am, I am Ashley. I'm Tiltify's community manager. It is our first boot camp today. You're gonna learn all about Tiltify and all our fancy features that you can utilize with your fundraisers. So let's take some time to say hello to everyone here in the channel. Hello, Near the Edge. Hello, Draskia. Hello, Robin. Hello, Anna or Anna. I'm so sorry if I butchered that, but let me know which one is the correct pronunciation <laughs> and hello mocha jones hello big slice and hello marpeck i hope you're all doing great today we are going to go from the start to the end of setting up your account on tiltify setting up your campaign looking up different organizations that you're in search for to support and all about our overlays because that's the new thing that we added this year and i know a lot of people have not experienced our overlays yet so we are definitely going to take some time today to get all in detail with everything that we can offer on our platform. I'm so excited. And thank you, everyone, for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. I, I am doing really well today. So I'm happy it's a good day. And I'm just excited for today because I, I love talking about Tiltify. It has really changed my life, and I'm sure it's changed others lives you know doing good with your platform is incredible so happy to be here so thank you everyone for tuning in thank you thank you boot camp hype <laughs> so of course if you're going along with me um feel free to we're gonna go from start to finish like i said so of course you want to start on tiltify.com that's where you want to be that's that's the first step that's how you get to us tiltify.com okay <laughs> And it'll bring you to this lovely home page here. And the cool thing about the front page is that you can explore different campaigns that are live right now. So you can continue to view more campaigns, continue to go to the next page and the next page, which is really cool. And of course, if you're looking for organizations, you want to, you know, if you're looking for Black Lives Matter or, you know, a cancer organization, we can just type in cancer, if I could type, I could type, and it shows just, you know, a population of four to three um, organizations. But if you want to see all the ones that we have on our platform, you can click view all causes. And there's so many, so many, so many, you can keep going to page to page, it gives you a brief description of each organization. But of course, if you want to click it to learn more about it, You'll click our Tiltify page for that specific organization, and then you can hit find out more to go to their website. So it's really fun. If you're looking for any cause, you just type in a keyword there, and it'll populate any organizations we have. So just wanted to touch on that, because I know a lot of people, they aren't really aware of how to look up organizations, but that's our hefty tool right there that is right on the homepage, which is exciting, exciting, and easy. The cool thing about Tiltify is that it's easy, and simple to set up. So I can't wait until we go over all of that fun stuff, all that fun stuff. But we're gonna start off with creating an account because you can't get anywhere without an account. So let's do that right now. Of course, if you already have an account, you can sign in, cool. If you already have an account, cool. But for the peeps that have not set up their account, let's go through that process right now. And also, if you have any questions, please drop them in chat. I am always looking at chat and I wanna answer all and any questions you have. So, hi Asia, hello, welcome in. Thank you. I'm excited too, it's gonna to be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna be here for a little bit, so get ready. We're gonna get detailed, we're gonna talk about incentives. We could talk about different incentive ideas and all that fun stuff. There's some rewards that, or incentives that people aren't using, so. Hopefully when we touch a base on it today, you get inspired to use it in your next fundraiser. So I'm excited. The entire UI is so clean and user-friendly off the bat and I love that. Clean, clean and clear. Don't we love that? <laughs> we love that, we love that. 
So, of course, if you want to sign up to make your account, you want to click that beautiful blue button that says sign up at the top right. Okay. And then, of course, if you are a cause that wants to get signed up with Tiltify, you'll click create a cause account. We're not going to go over that today. We're just going to go over fundraiser and donor side, okay, which are creators. So we're going to click fundraiser donor. And for here, creating an account, you want to have an email that you have access to because you have to verify your email because there's a lot of people that use their emails, but they can't get into their email. So make sure you can get into that email to verify your account because you have to verify your account in order to use our features. So keep that on the brain, okay? Keep that on the brain. <laughs> I made a beautiful email for today, y'all. Look, are you ready? Are you ready for the email? Because it's going to be incredible. Just, just wait, just wait. Tilt test one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> isn't it best? Isn't it? Isn't it great? I love it. So, of course, you're gonna make a password. Okay, we are going to make a password. And of course, if you're missing something that is required for a password, it's going to be in red. So make sure you have a special character in there. All right. Let's just retype this so I know what it is. <laughs> All right. And then you have to do the password confirmation here, of course, as usual. Make sure it's a password you will remember as well. <laughs> so when you do create one email, you can also use Twitter or Facebook or Twitch. So if you want to attach your email later, you can do that. You can sign in with just those social media platforms as well. And then later add your email. So you can either sign in with Twitter or your email or Twitch. So keep that in mind as well. So once you are to this point, you're going to click next and you're going to continue setting up your account. Shout out to the genius of that test email. It was me, you know, the genius. <laughs> And again, if you have any questions, just drop them in chat, okay? Drop them in chat. Don't hesitate. Nothing is a stupid question. I just want to point that out because if you have a question, I want to answer it. I want to make you successful in your fundraising and have fun with it as well. So once you're creating your account, you want to click next, the blue buttons. We're good on blue buttons, okay? And you want to put in your first name, last name, and username. So... Let's do, um, you know, we can do Ashley, okay? If I could type, oh, if I could type, oh, I can't type. We can't type, chat, we can't type. Let's put rocks. <laughs> and then username, let's do Ashrox1234. <laughs> so, you know, you can, you can just put your normal screen name for your username. Um, that's, that's totally fine. Or you can do Ashrox1234 or anything you want. <laughs> your username is attached to all the fundraisers you do. So when you create your campaigns, it's going to show your campaign slug, your username, and that link. So we'll go over all that later when we are creating our campaign and reviewing our campaign page. So, yes. Of course, we want to know that you are not a bot. So click that, okay? <laughs> click that or you won't be able to continue. <laughs> and then you hit create account, all right? Invalid email, hold on. No, 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 not an invalid email. Are they telling me my bot email is invalid? <laughs> it's saying invalid, y'all, okay. So we're just, we're just going to use one of my alt emails. No big deal. No big deal. Look at that. I, I came in. I came in at the perfect time. All right. All right. No worries. Probably because it's brand new. <laughs> so we created our account. Boom. We made it. We made it through. <laughs> we don't like bots. We don't like bots, and I guess it detected that that was a bot email chat. So it's okay. We made it, and we have backup plans. <laughs> Tilty bot is not so bad. Not so bad. We approve of the Tilty bot, though, 100%. 100%. <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. We're all logged in, and you can tell that you're logged in because we have a profile picture image here. So that is super cool. Um, and of course, it doesn't say sign in. So we are all logged in, and we are back on the Tiltify homepage. So now we're just going to go to our dashboard, okay? And of course, it's going to say you have to verify your account. So once you go do that, which I'm going to do right now, <laughs> We're going to do right now, once you verify that fun, fun stuff, we'll be able to use our features. So, it's great. And again, like I said, if you want to just explore different campaigns or get an idea of how people use our platform, you can search through campaigns and look at different ones, all that fun stuff. We can click here, Dr. Lupo. As you can see, this is how a campaign page looks. And it shows the cause that we're supporting. It shows the fundraising event. And then the fundraiser, which is the user that is fundraising. So let's verify our email. Because I'm going to show you how it looks when it isn't verified. It is verified. So let's go back here and go back to our dashboard. And I'm going to verify right now. And when you get an email, it's going to say that it's from no reply at tiltify.com. Okay. And we're going to confirm that account. Once we confirm that account, it's going to say email address has been verified. Now we're going to refresh. Woo! There we go. We are ready. We are ready, ready, ready. <laughs> ready to go. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So here is the personal details. This is really important because there are different causes that host special events that will send you merch or anything like that, special gifts for your fundraising efforts. So this is all blurred out for a reason, but I don't have anything added on here. You want to add all your personal info. So of course, your first and last name is already gonna be there. Your email is gonna be there. If you did sign up with an email or you use Twitter or Twitch, then you wanna add your email in there. All right, and then your address so they can send you that merch. And some different causes, they have you set up like a shirt size or hand size or something like that. They'll tell you how to set that up when they do host that event. So they do have accurate information to send you your goodies. So really important to have your address there. And we want to now start our campaign. This is the fun part, y'all. It is the fun, 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 fun part. Yes, privacy protection for things like this, you know, when you're hosting a boot camp, covers all that good information. <laughs> and we'll also go over my personal notify so you can see the fundraisers I've done and how I utilize incentives and all that fun stuff. So I just wanted to do a pause. Do we have any questions right now from anybody before we continue? Mm -mm -mm. But if we have no questions, that means we're doing good, right? We are doing good. Not yet. Not yet. Love that. <laughs> Love that. Love that. Okay. All right. Boop, 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 boop. So let's say we want to find a cause to fundraise for. Let's do, let's just do mental health. So we can give you an example of this. Boop, boop, boop. I like to start here. So if we look at mental health, as you see all these causes populate, we can hit view all causes. So all of these mental health organizations we have on Tiltify that you can choose from. Absolutely incredible. So let's choose anyone that we see here. We want to do mental health America. And if we want to hit start fundraising, we have to upgrade our account, okay? So we upgraded our account, we're now a fundraiser. So we chose our cause. Now we are at the creating our campaign portion. This is really, really, really quick and easy. When you hear from creators that say, oh my gosh, it's so easy to set up, it is just three steps that you take to 
set up your campaign, which is amazing. So basic information, give your campaign a name and tell us a little bit about your campaign. You can even customize the URL if you want to, which includes your campaign slug and all that fun stuff. So let's see. We're fundraising for Mental Health America. Our campaign name can be, we can do Tiltify for Mental Health America. Okay, so that's our campaign name. All right, and it's gonna automatically populate in the campaign URL, all right, which is really cool. And we can say, Tiltify team is fundraising for Mental Health America. Help us different. I love to do a brief campaign description and it's going to populate on your campaign page as well. So to fight team is fundraising for Mental Health America. Help us make a difference and bring more awareness to mental health. And I can totally type. I can type. All right. So this is our basic information. The cool thing is, is that we already did about the cause. So we're going to hit next. Once we have our campaign name and a URL is already populated, now it's saying live stream details. So here you can attach your Twitch live stream, your YouTube live stream, or a Facebook live stream. All right. So when you click either of these, you're going to log in and set that up. Okay. We're going to hit skip for this one. Or if you have a YouTube video that you created for the specific fundraising you're doing, you can just hit the video or paste the video URL here and it will populate on your campaign page automatically, which is really, really nice, really nice. I've seen a lot of people do that. So once you post that in there, it'll populate and you'll hit continue. But we're going to skip because we don't have a YouTube video. We're going to skip that. And then the image here, this image is going to show on your campaign page and it's going to be the main image of that campaign. So you can, you can add just your profile picture if you want. You can add a picture of an emote. That's usually what I do. Or if you have a custom image that you made for that specific event that you're doing, add it there. And we have our dimensions here that are able for you to upload. So once you do that, you'll hit continue. But we're gonna skip for now. All right, and campaign goal. There's a lot of talk about this. Um, you know, set your campaign goal based on your community. That is the best advice that I have for you. And I love starting out small, and then I love, love having additional milestones for stretch goals. And stretch goals are when you hit your campaign goal already, but you're making an additional goal after hitting that goal. So if my goal is $100, my stretch goal is gonna be $200. $300 after I hit 200 after we hit 300 it'll be 500 so we're going to keep our campaign goal at $100 it does have to be a minimum of 100 so set it however you want all right we're going to stick with 100 we're going to hit continue all right now we're all set we have a summary of our campaign which I love so we have our campaign name we have our campaign goal which is 100 and our URL and we are going to hit create campaign. Like I said, we are known for blue buttons, okay? Click the blue button. <laughs> all right, and if we have any questions, just drop them in chat, all right? We're gonna hit create the fun part. We made a chat, we created a campaign. Look at that, we did it, we did it. Welcome in, Darth, how are you? Thank you so much for being here and everyone that is tuning in. Thank you, thank you so much. So. We created our campaign. Now you're probably wondering, okay, what's next? There's a lot that is next. There's a lot here in this dashboard form that is going to help create your fundraiser to be more fun, exciting, all that good stuff, and any information you need from donors and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna just go over this overview here. The cool thing about Tiltify is that we give you a little help. Um, you know, we give you some steps that you can take to add to your campaign. So you can add your live stream. I didn't do that, but if you did do that, that wouldn't populate when we created our campaign. If you wanted to add your Twitch or your YouTube or your Facebook Live, 
um, and it's going to tell you to add a schedule. We're going to go over that under the incentives tab and adding some incentives, adding some milestones, and then publish your campaign. Publishing your campaign means now you can accept donations for that fundraiser. So we're going to get into all that. We are not going to miss a beat. And again, it's going to be a lot of information. So if you have any questions and you don't want to forget it, drop it in chat, okay? All right. All right. Let's get into it. Let's start with detail. We're going to go over detail here. All right. So this, this is great. And I can't wait to touch base on a thank you message for donors because a lot of people don't know about that. So detail is this, the detail of your campaign. So we have our title, which is Tiltify for Mental Health America. Our goal is $100. We set that already. And then our description is a description that we made when we were creating the campaign. So, and thank you message for donors. They receive this message after they donate to your campaign. All right. And it's, it's really nice to just have that message go out to them um, additionally to you thanking them for stream or whatever it may be. So I really, really like that feature. If you have not known about that feature, now you know. So take advantage of it and just make it fun. You could just have a brief thank you message, you know, for your community for donating to your cause. And then we have the avatar for the campaign there. All right. So that's just the detail. Really brief, really brief. But now we're going to dive in to the incentives and we're going to kind of go back and forth in between incentives and the overview tab. You'll know why soon. We'll know why soon. But let's briefly go over all the tabs so you have an understanding of what we're going to do here. So we went over detail. We're going to quickly go to incentives just to go over it. We're going to go over rewards here, targets, polls, milestones, and schedule. Schedule. All right, and then I'll zoom in so you can get a closer look on everything there. And then manage is when you can see all your donations. And then we're going to go over here to overlays. The messages is when you get a message from the community and donors there. All right, so this is going to be really exciting. We're gonna dive into incentives first. This is gonna be very detailed, so get ready. And we're gonna talk a little bit about different examples of rewards and targets and polls and milestones. So I've done a lot in my time, so you might get, get an idea today to use for your future campaign. <laughs> All right, so rewards, they're unique rewards that you can create for a certain dollar amount of a donation. And it, it, it can really get creative, I tell you. Um, you can use these rewards as a bean boozled. That is very popular that uh, fundraisers use. It could be to buy an art piece. If it's, you know, if they have art that they're auctioning off, they can probably have it set up as a reward. You can buy an art piece to that or set that up as a reward. And you can have, I'll drink peanut butter and jelly soda. I'm only saying this because I've done it for a reward already, and that is on the top of my brain. <laughs> and you are probably wondering, why did you drink peanut butter and jelly soda? I did it for the fundraiser, okay? I did it for the fundraiser. <laughs> like I said, we let you be creative as much as you can be with your campaigns, and that's why we have so many different incentives. You can make it fun and interesting. Sometimes your community will torture you. I'm not saying to set up incentives, you know, for your community to torture you, but get creative and be safe. Be safe. That's the number one thing that I want to put out there. Be safe, okay? Don't harm yourself. <laughs> but have fun. Have fun and go all out, okay? Yes, peanut butter and jelly soda is not very delicious, I will say. Not very delicious. Oh, turkey dinner soda. Is that a thing? Please, please tell me that is not a thing. But if it is, I might take a mental note for my future fundraiser. <laughs> no, the peanut butter and jelly soda was not good. It, it had a taste of soap or something. I don't know what was going on there, but it was worth it. 
you know, we hit our goal. <laughs> Jones soda? There's a Jones soda turkey dinner flavor. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I do group fundraising. Sub camping thing, one of the streamers did was pretty cool, but I'm far too lazy to set all that up for your stream. Oh, you can take the time to set it up. I know you can. I know you can. I totally understand how you feel, though, Darth. <laughs> You have a question. So after someone creates their campaign and names it, is it possible to go back and edit any of the details? Like if any typos or changes are made. Ha ha, good question. Near the edge. You can go back to the detail tab here that we reviewed. And if you want to change the title, you can change the title, description, campaign goal. The cool thing is, is that you can do all this before you publish your campaign. And you can't change your title after you publish. So just keep that in mind, or you can't change your goal. You can only increase your goal um, after it's been published. So that's why I always say start off small. You can increase your goal, you know. I, I love doing that. Starting at a couple hundred bucks, and you increase, and that creates more of space for you to have those stretch goals in mind. So, yes, good question. Sorry about that. I heard something. We are okay. We are okay. So, yep, all that is in the detail tab. The name cannot be changed after being published. Nope, nope, nope. Not the title. Nope, nope. <laughs> that was a good question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, now we're on incentives, and we were talking about all the fun things that you can do with your rewards. Your <laughs> So we're gonna go through the process of creating all these different incentives. So let's hit create reward. We don't have any right now. So let's, let's, let's kick it off, all right? Of course, we are going to do the best, best reward that is the most popular. We are going to do Bean Boozled. Bean, woo, our favorite. This is our favorite, favorite, favorite. <laughs> And usually I do these at five to 10 bucks because you know, your mouth starts to hurt after a couple bean boozled beans. Um, I can't be the only one. Um, <laughs> so we'll save $5 for that, all right? And the awesome thing that we added is that you can preview how your reward looks here on the right side. So for right now we have the title and I said bean boozles. <laughs> Bean Boozle Bean, $5. We don't have an image yet, but once we add an image, it will all be there, okay? So you want a description for it. You have to have a description. If you have that red asterisk there, you do have to have a description. So yes, rewards, one of the best parts. Yes, and welcome in a thousand dreams fine. I hope you're doing amazing. With rewards, some of them are limited quantities. If I needed help sending them out, is there a way? Now with the list to send to a distributor to send out the prizes. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. And we'll get into that after the reward. My teeth are in too bad of shape for jelly beans of my age. <laughs> yeah, if you have a cavity, you might want to just be careful because <laughs> they're pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, just making sure we didn't have any other questions. Message got smacked. I'm sorry. Thank you for answering that, okay. If I missed something, let me know. <laughs> I don't think I did, but let me know. So we're still creating our reward here. We have Bean Boozle Bean. We have our amount already. Now we get the description. Um, if you want to create a description, you can, or if not, you can just copy and paste. But let's do a description here. I'll eat a bean boozle bean, you know, just straight to the point. I'll eat a bean boozle bean. You could say yuck or yummy, question mark, exclamation. <laughs> you can, of course you can get creative. You can make it fun, you know, whatever you want to type, put it on there, okay? So that's usually what I do. Yuck or yummy. Bean boozle beans, it could either be a good taste or a nasty taste. They all look the same. So you won't know the difference. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So let's say you only want to eat 10 beans 
And that's it. And that's all. You can put 10. All right? I'm only letting you redeem 10 bean boozle beans, okay? You put that quantity in it. All right. I should probably do that in a few. Limit my bean boozle beans per stream, maybe. <laughs> sometimes it can get a little wild so if you go through that experience you're like okay i might want to tone it down a little bit on the beans just at a quantity hey i'm only eating five tonight everybody i can only eat five so if you want to put a quantity there cool if you don't want a quantity leave it blank it's going to be unlimited it will always be redeemable so pineapple on pizza and we can talk about that during our polls, which we're going to get into after targets. <laughs> no worries near the edge. No worries. All right. So once it's unlimited and then go next. So now this is kind of in the same relation to targets. The cool thing about this is that you can have a start date and an end date. I'm only going to do this reward from Friday at 12.15 p.m. to Saturday until 1.15 p.m. And you can set that, and that reward will only be available from those dates and times. And after that time, it won't be full after that. Okay? We're doing good so far. We're doing good so far. I know we are. We're doing good. Aren't we? We're doing good. All right. So let's add an image to this now. I'm going to use one of my emotes. How about that? We will do our Winnie the Pooh day emote. So once you add an image, you can zoom it all the way in or zoom it out. <laughs> so you do have that customization there and it does give you the recommended size. All right, and hit done. And that's how it looks for our preview. We're doing good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And now the fun part. Now, let's say we'll probably, we'll actually add another reward to utilize for these two um, options for reward, which is shipping and continue here. Okay. So we'll go over that in the next reward we're going to create. So we're just going to hit save changes on this. Once you hit save changes, can somebody in chat tell me what do we do after we create an incentive and we want it to populate on our campaign? Because we, we all have to say this together because it's very important and crucial, crucial for your campaigns and for your incentives that you're adding. Is there something that I need to click after creating that reward? Can somebody in chat answer? It's really, really important. Really important. And if anyone can see it on a screen, you know, maybe I can give a hint or something. Maybe a hint. A small hint. Just a small hint. <laughs> you want to click active. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. If you don't click active, not be on your campaign. So um, that is actually useful for when you don't want an incentive to be on your campaign anymore. You know, if you hit unlimited and you didn't set a time frame, you're like, okay, no, I'm done with being boozled. You can click it to be unactive. So what are we gonna do right now? Click active, reward activated. This is so important, so important. Okay, because you'll see why. You'll see why. Because you can spend your whole entire day setting up your rewards, your targets, your polls, and then you start up your stream, and there's nothing there because you didn't click active, okay? Just mental note, okay? Make sure all the things you created are active, all right? Really important. I'm stressing it because it really is important. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's zoom out once we hit active it said reward is activated now it will populate on our campaign page when it is published but 
even if your campaign is not published, you can go back and see how it looks right now. So if we go back to our overview tab here, you can click copy campaign URL. Once you copy, it's gonna copy to your clipboard. You can go to another tab and add it and you see how it looks right now. Okay, we have our rewards here and there it is. And it's unlocked until Friday. So as you can see, it has our time frame here that we set up. All right, unlocked in 23 hours. Out eat a bean, boozle bean, yuck or yummy. All right, and then we'll go into how it looks um, as a donor as well when they're looking at your campaign and you know giving a donation to your fundraiser. So look at that, we're doing good. We are doing good. And then also just briefly, copy donate URL. The donate URL looks different than a campaign URL. The campaign URL is looking at your full campaign. Donate URL is to do a quick donation, but they can also still see the incentives here, okay? But guess what? We can't look at it because it's not published. So we will look at that screen when we are all done and published, all right? So we're gonna create another reward and we're gonna go over the shipping and the question features that we have for the rewards, okay? So let's add an image. We're just gonna take care of our image right now. Let's add another, let's add a heart. Emote. And again, you can zoom in if your image needs to be zoomed in or anything like that. We're just gonna go ahead and add that image, all right? We're going to do $10 for the amount of this reward. We're going to do a thank you card, okay? We can type thank you card, right? I will create a custom thank you card and send it your way. All right, so we have that description, we have the amount, we have the title, and the preview shows everything that we just typed in. Mm -mm -mm. You were going to say the save button, honestly? Oh, well, I mean, that, hey, you have to save it too to keep all the things that you just created. So both are very important. Save and active are very important. Yes, grab your coffee, grab your coffee. All right, so we have our thank you card title. We have, I will create a custom thank you card for your donation and send it your way. All right, and if you want to limit how many cards you're gonna send out, cool. I'm only gonna do 10, all right? Donate $10 to grab one of the 10 thank you cards that I will be customizing to send out to our community. That's a really good call to action to that incentive and it can really drive a lot of fun with your community to get something customized from the creator that they took the time to do. Um, so you can create that quantity there or you can have it unlimited and you can send out a lot of thank you cards too. That's fine. However you want to run your campaign, you can do it. And if you want to have a start date and an end date for that, you can do that as well. We'll just have it for 1.30 today until Saturday, 1.30, right? And this time is your local time. So, of course, in order to have that information, you send it to your donor. I wanna set up shipping here. So once you click the shipping button, it's going to say shipping required, all right? You wanna click shipping required and then hit save changes. And we are going to look at how that looks on the donor side on our campaign when we see it published, okay? So save changes there, all right? And what do we do? What do we do, chat? The most important thing you have to do? Activate, activate. Would you be able to run through setting up a raffle, how to manage multiple donations from people? Please and thanks. Um, we can't set up a raffle through Tiltify, but you, there are ways you can utilize the donations feature and seeing the donations and raffling in a different way, probably through a third party, through Discord or anything like that. So there's no way we can set up raffle inside of Tiltify, if that makes sense. But you can utilize it for raffles. 
So activate, we are activated and we are moving forward. Now we're gonna create one more reward for asking a question, okay? So let's just dance stream, just dance song request, okay? All right, so let's just put that in the description. It's straight to the chase, just dance song request and we're gonna make that $5, all right? And if we want to add an image, we can. Let's add another image so we can get used to it. Okay. We are going to add another email <laughs> that we have. We'll do a honey pot. There we go. We're in a Christmas spirit in September. Am I the only one? I can't be the only one. All right. And you can leave this unlimited, especially if you're doing a full Just Dance stream or an entire stream. Uh, so you have those Just Dance, you know, songs stacked. Or you can limit it. That's totally fine too. If you want to limit it, five songs only. All right. Or leave it blank. So it's unlimited for your community to choose. All right. So we're creating this reward to go over the question feature here. Okay. We are activated. Should be on Tiltify partner shirts. <laughs> yes. Please make note, Robin. Make note. We need, we are activated shirts. Yes. Because it's, it's, Something that we, as creators, we kind of just brush over because we're just quickly setting it up and getting all our rewards and everything set up. Then you're like, okay, where are my rewards? <laughs> I've been there before where I have not activated them, but now I'm like, nope, I'm not gonna forget. It's right there, make it activated. And also it's really good to just go over your campaign after you publish it or before you publish it, before you publish it, and after. Before you publish it, make sure you that's the title that you want because that's the only time you could change the title. Okay, so. <laughs> we are all set with the Just Dance song requests, all right? And we have our $5 redemption for this specific reward. We have the description, cut to the chase, Just Dance song requests. Quantity if you want it, but we're gonna leave it unlimited, all right? And we added an image to make it cute. And then we're gonna click question here. Oh, ask a question. So the question for this specific reward would be, what song would you like me to dance to? Okay. What song would you like me to dance to? And then once you hit save changes, that question will populate to your donors and they'll be able to type in an answer. And you will see the answer within the overview of your campaign. So really, really cool. Now, with shipping information, we're gonna go over that soon, okay? So, oh, what do we do, chat? Activate, all right, we have three rewards ready to go. Now, we're going to go to our campaign page again. We're gonna hit refresh. Let's make sure those rewards are really active. They are active. We have all three ready to go, all right? So exciting, look at our progress, we are doing it. All right, so briefly, let's do the donor side of these rewards that we just created, all right? Let's hit select, just dance song request, is gonna hit select reward, and then you'll be able to type in the answer, okay? Same with thank you card, same thing, and then once it's published, you will be able to put in the shipping information as a donor, okay? All right, now we're going into the fun targets that were previously named challenges. Targets are so fun. I actually personally started utilizing targets a lot more this year, doing a whole bunch of fun things. Uh, targets are time-based primarily. Um, you set them up the same way as our rewards, but targets are, I like to, Describe them as small milestones in a time base frame, you know? So we're gonna create a target now. We don't have any, of course, so let's create one. All right, and do we have any questions or rewards before we get into targets, actually? They're really fun and you can get really creative with rewards. <laughs> really, really creative, really creative. And we're just gonna take a water break here. And if you haven't taken a water break, make sure you take a water break. Whoop. 
And make sure you are following Tiltify on social media. We are just now getting started on TikTok. So make sure you take a look at our TikTok. All right. Our incredible social media manager does an amazing job over there. So make sure you keep up with us. Tune in. We got awesome content on there. And all our other links for our socials are there too. Keep up. How far ahead are you able to set the end date for? <laughs> I don't know. How far can we go? Let's see. I think we're in 2024 now. <laughs> we're in 2025. <laughs> the future. <laughs> yep, the future. So there's really no limit. Um, whenever you want the end date to be, that's when you set it and then you pick the time as well. So really important, okay? <laughs> so we have no questions or rewards. So we're gonna move on to targets, but of course, if a question arises, throw it in chat, okay? Throw it in chat, all right? So now we have targets. It gives us a brief description of targets. Targets are time-based fundraising goals. Schedule a target to commit to an activity. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, here we go. All right, we're just gonna go over some that I've used. And it goes back to soda. Um, I had a variety pack of delicious soda that I love so much. We're gonna do hot, hot wing soda, okay? So we're gonna talk a little bit more about other ideas of targets. It could be temporary hair dye. Say you start your stream and you say temporary hair dye in the name of the target. And the target, again, like I said, they're like small pools of milestones. So we're gonna set this amount to $100. And then it's going to show that people have to donate towards that target amount, which is $100. So 100 people can donate a dollar to hit that target goal. Okay, once you hit that target goal, that's when you commit to that activity. And I will drink hot wing soda. Oh yeah, let's do, actually, let's go a little bit more in detail with this, okay? I'll drink hot wing soda. And it wasn't good, chat, it was not good at all, okay? Not good at all. It, it, it did not taste good, okay? But we did it and it was fun. <laughs> And like I said, you can get creative with all our features here on Tiltify. It is awesome, and I love it so much. I've done so many different things throughout the years that I've been fundraising on Tiltify, which is a very long time. <laughs> Since 2017, this platform has been around for so long, and we're always improving and adding so many cool things. So I can't wait for the future of Tiltify. But we are in such a great place right now. We have rewards, targets, polls, milestones, and a scheduling feature we're going to go over. So, targets. I'll drink hot wing soda if you all donate towards the pool of $100, okay? And you have to hit that by the end of tonight's stream. It's really fun to incentivize targets by stream basis. That's how I do it, but of course, however you want to do it, by any means, go right on ahead. So, you have to hit it tonight. Tonight by... 11.30 p.m., that is the end of our stream or, you know, midway of our stream. That's how I utilize targets and a lot of other fundraisers utilize targets. It's really, really cool. Targets are easy to set up. You just need a name, the amount, and an end date. Save changes. And activate. All right. Now that target is activated. Okay, so again, get creative with these targets. It could be temporary hair dye for that night. You know, if you have some spray temporary hair dye, I'll spray my hair pink tonight if you donate 100, you know, towards the $100 pool of the target by 9.30 of our stream, you know? It's fun things like that that you can incentivize for your fundraisers and make it fun. And of course, you can 
show your fun incentives that you are creating on your stream with our overlay feature, which we will get into soon. <laughs> get activated. See, yes, we need merch with this immediately. And look what I started. <laughs> so these are targets, all right? Targets, targets, targets. And again, this can be anything. <laughs> it could be anything. It could be, I'll switch to Fortnite if you're playing Valorant, you know. If you donate five towards the $500 pool of the target, we'll switch to Fortnite. You know, it could be anything. Really, really fun. And, of course, you can end it at any time. As you can see, it's not, not limited. You can end that target whenever. So if you want to just keep it there for the entire fundraising event, you can do that too. All right, just keep that in mind. So those were targets. Any questions on targets from anyone in chat? And don't be afraid. I am here to answer. And we also have Tiltify staff here in chat to answer as well. Just throw them in there if you have any questions at all. We're here to help you and make you successful and have a good time here with our platform. And we're going to dive into my favorite incentive, which is polls here. Woo, it's going to be fun. All right. Polls are great. You can add up to five options for each poll that you create, which is five different votes that uh, the donor can choose. Now, just briefly, I want to touch base on the donor side. If you have rewards set up, if you have targets set up, if you have polls set up, that donor can choose to have that $10 donation to go towards all three of those. So that's what I love the most about Tiltify is that you don't have to do, okay, $10 for this reward. Okay, $10 for, or another $10 for the target. All right, another $10 towards this poll. That one donation goes towards all of those incentives. So if you didn't know that, now you know, and that's why I love it. So now we're going to create our polls, which is, again, my favorite. You can, you can go all out with polls. It can be the most insane poll, uh, you know, target or topic that you've never thought of, but it has been a poll on Tiltify, okay? It can be a poll about voting on which Pokemon game is the best, and people will go all out donating. No, this Pokemon game is the best. No, this Pokemon game is the best. You can have all those games set up as options, which we're going to get into right now. But I'm not going to do a Pokemon poll because I don't know any Pokemon games. I only know of Pokemon Sword and Shield. So that's the only Pokemon game I've played. But neither here or there. Let's dive into it, okay? Poll name. We're going to go with the amazing topic that Robin gave us and that everybody is so, so so happy to talk about, which is pineapple on pizza. And yes, I have seen polls with this topic and they raise a lot of money. <laughs> so does pineapple go on pizza? On pizza? No. Yes. We're going to add another poll option here. Your pizza. So, yeah, if you want to, you know, have our donors choose no, choose no, or they can choose a yes, or they could choose your pizza. Pineapple goes on, not mine, but yours. <laughs> so that, that simple way of creating a poll, and that's all you need. But, of course, like I said, you can add up to five options. So right now we have three out of five. But, of course... Utilize all of them. If you have different answers for that topic of the poll, do it. Do it. Give your donors additional, you know, vote options for the polls. Yes. We, yeah. Let's set up the poll right now. Let's just do it within Twitch. Does, does pineapple belong on pizza? Does it? <laughs> does it belong on pizza? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And you can't tell me otherwise, chat. <laughs> All right, so once we create that name for the poll and then we have our options, we hit save. And then we get activated. 
activated, activated. We created a poll, chat. There we go. Let's create another one, okay? Create another one. All right? One of my favorites is use my next cosplay. All right? We can do Black Panther, Captain Marvel. Totally not a Marvel fan, if you couldn't tell. But let's switch it up to DZ. Please sleep. Ooh, how do you spell poison? <laughs> poison Ivy. Who else? We'll do Anjiro from Demon Slayer. And then we can do Banana. I'll just cosplay as a banana. That's okay. Now we're utilizing all five of our poll options there. Hit save changes and we get activated. So how polls work, it works by donations um, and donation amounts. So it'll show a bar of which vote option is winning. Um, and you'll be able to see that in your overview. We'll go over that at the end of all our incentives being created. Do we have any questions on polls at all? It does belong in your pizza, Rudy. Are you sure? Have you tried pineapple on pizza? Really good. <laughs> and also some poll ideas you can come up with is choosing your next hair color. Um, choosing your next game to stream. You can say create poll, choose the next game that I stream. It could be Resident Evil. It could be Valorant. And really when you create polls like that, make sure it's fun and it's a game that you probably usually don't play on your stream which will make it you know more exciting for donations to come in towards that vote option so again get creative with all these features it's so much fun to just see your community go all out for a cause that you are so happy to support with your online community and you make it fun that's all about totify we want you to do good and have fun while doing it wonder woman Wonder Woman. See, I should have put Wonder Woman in there. I put Poison Ivy, though. <laughs> Did you know fundraisers who use polls raise on average two times more than a general fundraiser? Robin coming here with the facts, and that is a fact. There are some fundraisers out there that only use polls. Just saying. They only utilize polls, and they'll just keep making them. And they'll sit on stream and just chatting, just, you know, having these fun debates with the polls and they're donating to the cause and it's just a fun time. So that's why polls are my favorite. It can be anything and people go crazy to have their answer win. They're like, no, pineapple does not go on pizza. We're going to donate more towards that answer. You know, it gets really fun and competitive, fun competition amongst your communities. <laughs> All right, so we created our polls. We're activated. Now milestones. Milestones. All right, milestones are, you know, they're smaller goals that you achieve within your fundraiser, and they're called sub goals. So our goal is $100, correct? We're going to make a milestone. We're going to make a couple of them up until our $100 milestone, okay, which is our goal. So we're gonna click create milestone here. We have a name and amount. That's all you need for the milestone. And it will show us little dots on your campaign bar to how close you are to that milestone and achieving it. And you can also add that on your overlays, which we will get into next, okay? What have been your most favorite ways to utilize a poll feature personally? For cosplays, um, for me personally, using my next cosplay, it makes it really, really fun. Um, and again, Robin said that these fundraisers utilize polls and they raise twice as more than a general fundraiser. I see that as well personally. If I have a campaign that doesn't have polls, doesn't usually do as well as the ones that do have polls. So I just love utilizing polls for anything. It could be choosing my next tattoo, of course, with options that I approve of. It could be choosing my next tattoo, choosing my next cosplay, changing my wig, or, you know, anything like that. Again, I use it for almost everything and anything. It gets really fun. So 
those are usually why I use polls and for those things. I like using polls to have donors choose what game I'll play out of scary games or games I normally don't play, but people want me to. Yes, exactly. Make it fun, especially if it's a game you've never played before. All right, so we are with the milestones now. We're almost done with our incentives. So milestones here, okay? We are going to do, we can, I usually utilize milestones for giveaways. So if we hit $50 raise, we're going to do a gift card giveaway, or headset giveaway, or something like that. Or you can do it, you know, I'll shave off my head if we hit $1,000 raise, you know, anything like that. Or it could be, we'll watch scary videos on stream. Or I will jump in a pool in the freezing cold. Anything, <laughs> anything like that that you come up with, that could be a milestone. And again, those are sub goals of your fundraising. And after you hit your campaign goal, you can create those milestones as stretch goals. So. You can only create those milestones after you hit that goal, though, for the stretch goals. Just to keep that in mind, okay? All right. So let's do a gift card giveaway. Okay. We're going to do that at $50. Our goal is $100. we are going to do that at $50 on our milestone. So you have the title here and the amount. You want to click Save Changes. Okay. Now, the Activate button looks a little different here. But... Still does the same thing. It still does the same thing. You want to hit active. Now that milestone is activated. Okay. All right. Now we can make another milestone. Okay. It'd be I will shave my head at, or I will shave my head. Boom. There you go. It's the milestone. So I will shave my head. And that's if we hit our goal, $100. And you click Save Changes, and we are active. There we go. So that I did as a VTuber was I had people donating to vote for my hair color the next month. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. And I, I love that you're here because I'm always wondering what incentives and milestones that VTubers come up with. And they, they go above and beyond. I've seen a couple campaigns this year, and it's so fun to see. I love it. V, the VTuber community is amazing, and I never actually sat down to watch a full stream, you know, a VTuber stream, but it's fun from what I've seen. So that's awesome. I love that. The charity tattoo you got? Yes, I, I actually did the same thing with a St. Jude logo. It is on this forearm here, but I have on my jacket. But, yep, I, I did that too. I did that too, and I have to get more tattoos because of other tattoo polls I've had <laughs> this year. So yeah, it's fun. My community loves choosing things that I need to get done. <laughs> That's awesome. So now milestones, we are activated. Boom, there we go. All right, we're done with milestones. Do we have any questions on milestones? Please let us know. We're gonna dive into the schedule feature that I hope to inspire fundraisers to start utilizing. Okay, now, click the schedule feature here. Here we go. Now, the schedule populates on your campaign page. All right, it does populate. It shows at the bottom right here. It will show here once it's all published, okay? Now, let's create a schedule. You're probably wondering, what can you put on your schedule? Let's say you're having a Just Dance stream you know, next Saturday, and you want your donors to come back, you know, for that special event, make sure you put that on your schedule. Or if you want to just put your full stream schedule, you can do that too. There is nothing wrong with that. If you want people to keep up with every single stream you're doing for that fundraiser, put your entire schedule on there. Usually most people, they put special events that they have planned for the fundraiser on their schedule. So you can do, you know, create your campaign. I'm sorry, create your schedule however you please. All right. So let's say Just Dance stream, all right? So we have a Just Dance stream going on, okay? Let's do, oopsie, sorry. All right, Just Dance stream. Come by, do song request. 
So let's say that's going to be this Saturday, okay? And we're gonna start our stream at 9.30. We're gonna end our stream at 1 a.m., okay? Saturday, we're gonna start our stream at 9.30. All right. And that stream is going to end, boop, 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 at 1 a.m., okay? Mm -mm. And that's how it looks when we are typing in all that information there. We have our title, we have our description, our start date, and our end date there. Hit save changes, okay? Save and ah changes. All right. Here we go. All right, so our schedule. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. I did not put the next day. There we go. <laughs> I said, wait, it's not adding. All right, there we go. So it's starting Saturday at 930. It's ending Sunday at 1 a.m. All right. That is added to our schedule. Okay. We can add something else to our schedule. We can say horror game night. All right. We can type a description here. Horror game night, we will playing resident evil eight all right that's just a brief description and we will be doing that on the 7th at 9 30 okay and then we're going to be ending it at 11 30 okay 11 30 that same night all right Okie dokie, we're gonna save changes there. Now that is added to our schedule, okay? All right, we are just making progress here. We are basically all done with our incentives. Now we went over everything. Do we have any questions on any specific incentive or any question about ideas for a certain incentive as well? Mm, 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 mm. And thank you everyone for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new today if you didn't know about it and you just take that and go, all right, and do some good with our platform. So we have our schedule, we have our milestones and our polls and our targets and our rewards and they're all activated. Look at that. Now, the schedule, you don't have to activate. So you're good on that part, but everything else you do have to activate. So keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to dive into our overlays for the rest of this stream. Okay. And then we'll be going over how you can export your donor list and see the shipping information. Okay. Now, 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 now. Our overlays. Here we go. This is you know, a feature that we added this year, and I'm so happy we have it. It basically, you know, it promotes that we have everything all in one place that you need for your fundraising stream. So with the overlays, you're going to create your overlay. There's so many different widgets you can add, and you just add that browser source link to your OBS or whatever streaming uh, software you are using, okay? Oh, gosh, the QR code is amazing. I utilized a QR code on my stream overlay and I also added it in my stream panels. So I don't know if any of you have done that, but you can add the QR code to your panels so we can just easily scan it on a screen or anything like that. Or if there's a big group of people around, everyone can scan a QR code on one person's phone if they wanna do their own personal donations to the cause. So really, really useful. I love the QR code feature it is the best thing ever and i'm so grateful for it <laughs> it is a game changer game changer all right so the cool thing is is that we can do a blank overlay or we could just do the default which is the recommended that we usually use for our campaigns okay so let's add a default one so you can see how that looks okay you love being able to put it on your promo graphics yes you know I actually did not even think of that, putting it on your promo graphics. That's important and that's really nice. I love that. So take notes if you did not know about that. Take notes, take notes. <laughs> Thank you for that, Fall Team. 
Once we add our overlay layout, which is the default, which is our recommended, which is pre-filled with widgets, okay? So with this overlay, this is how it looks. So this preview here is your 1920 by 1080 screen, which is your streaming screen, okay? Let's just zoom in, all right? We have the classic overlay here. We have the QR code and we have the alert box and the event list, okay? Camera is covering it, sorry, but we have all those fun things here. Now, the classic overlay is this beautiful guy at the top, okay? Which shows your fundraising progress. It shows how much you raised here and it shows your goal here, okay? We can zoom out, not zoom in. Okay, so that's a classic overlay. The cool thing about it, actually zoom in, is that you can change the position if you want or you can just manually move it in a preview. It shows a width and a height, which is already set for you when you use the recommended uh, overlay. And you can change the colors. So when you get donations here, it's going to show the bar as blue, okay? So you can change that color right here. Do any color and you can put the hex code in there too. So I want it pink. I want everything pink. You can make it pink. All right, you can even change the color of the background of the bar itself all here. You can change the font color. It's so, so amazing and it's so easy to do. And I love that you can customize all our overlays now because you couldn't before unless you did it within a specific coding but it's easy and it's on our overlay system and you can also change the font and then for here you can show donations equal or over a certain amount and that is what shows here on the right side of the overlay for here it cycles through the last donation and the top donation and it automatically animates that on your stream okay so let's set that back up where it was. All right. And then we can close it out by just clicking it again. Okay. It hides all that information. And we have the QR code and it automatically creates a QR code for that campaign. We are still in the same campaign here. So it's going to create that QR code. All right. And the way that you can, I'm all zoomed in now. You can download the QR code in the overview section once we are all published, okay? And we'll go over that again. We're gonna go back to our overlays, okay? So now we are going to our alert box, all right, that we have here. And our alert box is in this corner here, all right? The cool thing is, is that you can test a donation Okay, when you test that donation, it populates here. Right now we don't have an image attached or anything like that, so it just shows the basic. Annabelle Norell donated zero dollars to Mental Health America, okay? And it went away pretty quickly. So if you wanna have that stay a little bit longer, we have the alert duration here. I would say 10 seconds, at least 10 seconds. So you can have the time to react to the alert and for you know, your community to see it as well. So with alert box, you can have it animated however you want. You can have it back in to the left, okay? And then it'll go back out to the left, okay? You can change the font. Let's change it to Anton. Let's change our font color to pink because we love pink. And the cool thing is, is that we have Jiffy enabled in our overlays now. So you can search up any GIF here, okay? All right, Mental Health America, there's one there. All right. See, as we can see, Jiffy populates all the GIFs that are in that keyword that I searched up, okay? So we can get mental health. All right, mental health matters. All right, once you click that GIF, I say GIF. <laughs> It populates automatically with a preview of the alert. And it stayed there for 10 seconds and it went away. So when you click an image, if you want to have an image, you click that image, all right? And then you choose your alert sound, all right? If you want to have an alert sound. We have a lot of uh, basic 
sounds, all right? Basic sounds, no music or anything like that that you can add. The cool thing is, is that, make sure you can see that there. Oh, you cannot see me clicking the sound. It's interesting. I'm not sure why. But when you click the alert sound box, it gives you a lot of different sounds that you can choose from. And they also have, <laughs> they also have, you know, fun ones that probably will scare you. We have spooky sounds and whistle sounds. You know, if you want to have four alerts, you can set those right up in overlay. <laughs> so you can choose any sound. We'll just click spooky one. Woo! Okay. Um, no one heard that, and I'm I'm so <laughs> so happy. But now you're gonna hear it. Because if I have to hear it, you have to hear it. Okay. Oh! All right. And that's why we test things out. <laughs> that's why you test things out, chat. All right. And, and you change the volume. All right. Change that volume. Knock it down a couple. All right. And <laughs> headphone warning. <laughs> The spooky one was not that loud. It wasn't that loud, but like I said, that's why we have the volume select there. And you could turn it down and choose however, however many sounds you want for your different alerts, okay? That was very loud. Wow. All right. <laughs> so when you click a sound, it's going to give you a little preview, as you can see. All right. Here we go. All right, we're going to go with Plink. That's welcoming and not too horrifying. And we have our alert duration at 11. <laughs> and let's say you only want certain alert amounts to show on screen. Um, if you want to customize that, you can right here. You can hit show donations over $5. Okay. You know? And you can set that up there if you want that. I guess you can really utilize that feature if you are getting a lot of donations in and you want to limit the alerts. So that is best for that, I would say. So we are all done with our alert. Now we chose our font, we chose our image, we chose our animation. We're gonna hide that. We're gonna do a test donation, okay? Actually, I set it to $5, so we're going to just delete that. There we go. There's our alert. All right. And it shows the name and the donated amount to Mental Health America. All right. And it's going to auto-populate the cause that you're fundraising for. Do our overlays. Now, as you can see, we already sent some test donations over. We have the event list here. Okay. We have the event list here. Now, we're going to show it more so on this side, all right? So we have a test donation. You can mainly see it here with the preview, but as you can see, the event list shows under here, under the left of the goal. That's how we have it set up, but of course you can move it wherever you like, where it shows best on your stream. The event list shows all recent donations, but if you want to limit that as well, you can hit or you can type in show donations equal over a certain amount. OK, now you can also customize the colors and the font of this as well. OK, we can make it bigger so you can see it. So if we want the background color to be blue, we want our font color to be black. OK, we want to change our font to Anton, make it really pop there. And how do you? portion this is how it's going to show on your stream so make sure you size it however you like so it is visible okay and if you want to change the border color you can change it to red and then increase the border width of that okay that's probably not the best on the eyes so we just click colors okay we just click some colors there but border radius you can increase it or make it smaller that's how it looks with the border and everything that we customize for the colors. So the cool thing is this is free transformation, which I love as well. So it's not just making it bigger. You can squeeze it however you like. Okay. 
And then you can choose the number e the number of events to show, which is four right now. Let's say we only want two. We're only going to show two, okay? Or you want to go above and beyond and show ten, okay? You can show ten, <laughs> okay? And you can size it how you want it, okay? And then we are done with the basic recommended things that we recommend for you to have on your screen, okay? So when you click at the recommended, it gives you these four widgets, okay? But we have so many more widgets we could add as well. So looking at the widget list, we already have alert box. We have event list. We don't have reward list. We don't have the single reward. We don't have the pull or the head to pull or head to head pull added or the beta overlay. All the other ones that we offer in overlays, you can add as well. So. Let's say we want to get rid of the classic overlay. You can hit the trash can there, all right? And then let's say we want to use the compact overlay. Let's use a compact overlay. It's really, really nice to compact, okay? I like squeezing it here so it's not too much in the way of my gameplay, all right? So when you click any of those widgets you want to add, it has the same customization that you would like to add, okay? We have our font white, which will pop best there okay we can change our font do anything we like we can change our font color as well you can change the background color of the bar here and it shows it shows the top donation here and then it will cycle through the last donation as well for this one and it shows your goal amount and the bar will fill up here as well so that's a more compact one that's not taking too much of your screen, okay? I recommend that one for that. And then, and then you can sort donations by amount. When you click that, it's going to show the different donations that you've received for the campaign. And it'll cycle through an animation, okay? That's our compact overlay there. And then the beta overlay, which is really nice. It goes across your screen. It shows the amount raised. And then it shows the milestones here in the middle. And it's going to show um, the last donations here under the gray, the light gray bar. Really, really nice. So that one has animations and cycles too. And of course, you do have the custom ability. You know, you can customize it. And you can choose your colors and all that fun stuff. You can hide your goal if you want. You can hide the top donation. You can hide the milestones if you want. You can hide the ticker or so, you know, sort the donations by a certain amount. So you have that range as well for that specific overlay. And of course, you can always choose to show a certain amount of donations equal or over as well. So that is our beta overlay. Now we have a lot of overlay options for you to use within your overlay. <laughs> really, 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 really nice to show you know, your fundraiser on your stream. And if you are not really fond of, you know, the visuals of the overlays, we also have just lettering for that, okay? All right. So, cause name, cause logo. So the cause name, it just gives you a font of the cause name, okay? It says Mental Health America. If you want to have that on your stream, you can have that, okay? And you can choose a font color of that and a font. All right, and then, and then a cause logo, it shows a cause logo if you want to show that on your stream too, okay? And it auto populates, which is awesome. So you don't have to go out and you know, Google search for the logo there, it's already populated in your overlay. And then we have a progress bar, custom progress bar. We can show our targets, okay? And then let's just go through our incentives really quick. So with rewards, if you want to show your reward list, you can do that. So here, or you can show a single reward. Say there's a single reward you're really pushing for for that stream. It could be, you know, your Just Dance stream. You want to promote that reward, okay? You are going to click single reward, all right? You can choose the animation for it, all right? And let's select the Just Dance song request, okay? We can change our font, of course font color and you can choose the time on screen 
and it'll be there for 15 seconds and then it'll pop back up in two minutes, 120 seconds, okay? All right, and it shows it and it goes away and it'll pop back up in two minutes. We'll leave that there so you can see how it works, okay? So that's our single reward. And our reward list here, it shows all your rewards. So of course it's going to be blank until you choose a reward. So let's go to our reward list. We're gonna click it. So it's hidden right now, but we're gonna to click to unhide it. All right, so rewards to show. We have three right now. So we're gonna click all three of those. And as you see, as I click, it populates the rewards, okay? Now, I'm just gonna blow it up so you can see. It shows the title of the reward. It shows how many, or if it's unlimited, as you see, the thank you card is locked to 10 people to redeem it. And then the donation amount to redeem that reward. So, we will leave that just here shadows <laughs> and you can also change the color of course that's with almost all the widgets so and you can choose a border radius all that fun stuff right and that's the reward list there now we're going to go down the line we're going to do polls all right now with the poll you can select a poll we created two of them does pineapple go on pizza so I love this because it literally helps you get your community engaged with the poll. You know, it makes it fun. So let's blow it up a little bit here. It has the question, does pineapple go on pizza? And then, whoop, it disappeared on me. It disappeared on me. All right. Mm -mm. There we go. We're going to set that to zero so it doesn't go away. <laughs> This pineapple go on pizza, it shows the amount next to each vote. So if you wanna change that color, all right, that's the amount raised color. Let's change it to blue. Let's be on brand here. We wanna change that to blue. And then the progress bar color, you can change it. All right. And then it'll, you know, it'll show the bar on each vote for, you know, your vote options for your poll. All right, and you can change the color there. It is blue right now. So that's, is so, so, so fun to have on your stream, especially when you're in a chatting session. So you can show off, hey, we got this poll going on right now and let's keep up with it. And actively you can see the donations go towards each vote. All right, so that's our poll. We are now, we went over rewards, all right? We're showing our polls. We show our milestones through our overlays that we showed earlier. Okay, now can I show my targets? Of course you can. Of course you can. So now we're going to add a target. All right, we're gonna select the target that we have. I'll drink hot wing soda. And then of course, we're gonna change our font. All right, so this is how that looks. I'll drink hot wing soda. Okay, you can size it how you want. And then the bar will fill up. And once that bar is filled up, you do that target that you committed to. And you can change the colors as normal. And if you don't want it to disappear, you can set those factors to zero. And you can do text on top or it'll be underneath. All right, and you have those, uh, the custom ability there. All right, and that's targets. So now we are showing all our incentives so far, pulls, targets, milestones, and rewards, okay? Now, let's get a little bit more into the other ones that we have available as widgets. All right, so these are the throwback ones that we had before. Let's just take a look at them. So this is really cute and compact. It's just a bar of your fundraising. So little tilty here will go up as much as, you know, the donations that come in for your fundraiser close to your goal to the top. So that is our throwback progress bar one, okay? And then we have throwback progress bar two, which is really, really cute, you know, I love it. It's similar to that one. They just look different. Okay. And then we'll hide that one. We have a lot of widgets added now. And then the throwback milestone tracker. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at that throwback. Isn't it amazing? I love it. So the bar is there and then you fill up that vial there. So those are the throwback widgets that we have available if you want to use, which is really cool. 
and then we have the dynamic text. So back to when I said that if you don't want to utilize the overlay visuals that we have, and you just want a simple text, you can just add that dynamic text and it shows how much you raised so far. So that is also another option. We're going to remove that. The fact that you can implement all of this into your overlay on here is insane. Yeah, isn't it amazing? I love it. I love it. I love it. Probably the best feature we've added, you know? So, and we already have our QR code, but if you want to add it again, you'll just click QR code, okay? If you want five QR codes on your overlay, you can do that. <laughs> All right, and then let's do progress bar. So this can also be another option if you don't want the overlay visuals on your stream. So you have this nice, cute, compact bar it shows it's basically the campaign goal that you see on your campaign into this all right it's the same thing so it shows you know the milestones and everything there with the balls all right and then it shows our hundred dollar milestone there all right so that's another one you can utilize if you don't want to use the dynamic text or the other overlays that we have all right and that is called the progress bar, basic. And then what else can we add here? We add everything. We can do head to head pull. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. All right. Mm -mm. I have so many here, we're gonna have to remove some. We need some cleaning up here. <laughs> All right, we're going to add the head to head pole. So pole option color, all those. Select a pole, it won't let me select a pole. Interesting. Usually you can select a pole here and do the head to head pole. The head to head pole, a widget, it shows, I wish it would let me select a poll. I'm not sure why. Hmm. As we definitely have polls. Or maybe because, maybe because the campaign isn't published. We'll go back to this. It shows each vote on each side and it shows a bar going towards whichever one is winning. It's really cute. Really, really cute. All right. So that's the head to head poll. I think we touched everything. In the custom progress bar, you can customize that however you like here, okay? That's really, really basic. I think we went over everything. Did we have any questions on the overlay? Because that was a lot, wasn't it? We have a lot there for you. <laughs> Gotta have just two options. Ooh, okay. All right, noted, okay. Good, see, that's why you're here, Mocha Jones. That's why you're here. Okay, I did utilize that when I only had two options. So like I said, it's only one, two, and it'll show. And we can quickly create a poll to see how that looks. How about that? Okay, change my, oops, change my hair color. All right, and we can make red and blue, okay? And once we create that poll, save changes, it's only two. We're gonna get activated, go to our overlays here, and we're gonna go back to our overlay. Then we're gonna do head to head poll. Now we can choose a poll because we added too many options. <laughs> so here's our head to head poll. Like I said, it shows each vote option on the left and right, and it'll show the bar more towards which one is winning. So that's our head to head poll. All right, here we go. We are all done with overlays. We did it. We did it, chat. We did it, we made it. We made it. Thank you. I forgot you only needed two. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Thank you. Coming in clutch, coming in clutch. That's our overlays, that's our incentives, that's our detail, and I think we are ready to publish. And then we're gonna take a look at our campaign page. 
How about it? I think we are sold on a title. We are sold on a goal. And we're sold on a description. And then our overview is going to look different once we publish. So let's go ahead and publish. And again, any questions, throw them in chat, okay? So in order to publish a campaign, you want to go back, make sure you review your incentives, make sure you're happy with them. Even when it's published, you can still add incentives and milestones, of course, for your stretch goals. And if you want to add to your schedule, you sure can. You can come back to this tab. It will look the same. And you just keep creating any incentives you want to add. Okay. Detail, can't change the name. Okay. <laughs> but you can add a thank you message for your donor still. Uh, you can increase your goal after it is published. All that fun stuff. So let's go back to overview. We're going to hit publish. Big blue button. All right. And it's going to give you a warning. Hey, before you publish, just know you have to look at these things and make sure you're good. Okay. So once we hit publish, your goal cannot be decreased. The campaign name cannot be changed. Once a donation has been made to the campaign, the campaign cannot be unpublished. So if you want to unpublish your campaign, you can. If you, you know, you found out that you can't do a fundraising stream and you want to revert back, you can. You can unpublish a campaign if it has not received any donations. So it gives you a heads up. It's like, hey, before you do this, make sure you're okay with all these things. So I love that. And of course, we have a blue button for you to publish. And once you hit publish, success, your campaign is now published. Now, our overview looks different. Like I told you, it looks completely different. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, here we go. So now this is our overview. Now, I really like this because everything is in one place. And what I mean by everything is that you can keep up with all the progress of your incentives, all right? So right now we have the amount raised. That updates automatically with every donation. The event total, if you're a part of the event, like St. Jude Play Live, it'll show the event total there, okay? And then next, milestone, okay? It shows our milestones. Each one that you hit, it'll show the next one. And also for event total, it could be um, supporting a team event as well, which we will briefly go over as well. So here's our overview. We have those added, and then we have our donations added. And then, like I told you before, you can download the QR code now that it's published. So if you want to add this to your panels or to your website or to a video, you hit download QR code, and it will download for you, okay? And then, of course, your campaign URL and a donate URL. And now, since we are published, we can go to the donate URL, which we will go to in just a moment here. Now, you can add more panels here. So, again, everything is going to be on one page. All right. Let's add our rewards. Let's add our targets and our polls. All right. Rewards here. Those are your rewards, and you can cycle through them. All right. And since we have the set to 10, it will show you how many are left. All right. So you can incentivize that to your chat. Hey, we have five more thank you cards. Make sure you redeem them right now. Okay. And it ends in a day, you know, since we set a certain time for that reward. All right. And then the targets that we added, it shows you the progress of the target. Like, hey, we're almost, you know, we're $20 away from hitting that target. You can keep up with all the things you have added to your campaign on one page and I love the overview page it's so helpful especially when you're multitasking with your stream and then we have our polls it shows you the progress of your polls as well which is awesome and you can cycle through all the different polls you have <laughs> also targets if you add more than one you'll be able to cycle through in a donations here it shows all your donations now since we have no donations here um it will I can actually probably show you on my screen from my already done campaigns. It'll show the name that they used to donate, okay? The amount they donated at the time they donated and the comment that they put on their donation. And you can moderate any and all donations for them to not pop up on your campaign, okay? And then incentives. It will show you if they redeemed a, in a reward and they donated towards a target and towards a poll. It will show all that here under the incentives. 
and you'll be able to expand those donations to see what that donation is towards. So it's really, really cool. And the cool thing about this as well is that you can move around these panels however you like. Say I only want my donations to show up top. I want this to be down here, the amount raised to be under here. If you really want to mainly keep up with your donations, keep that up at the top and everything else will be at the bottom. And you can rearrange those panels however you want. Okay? So that's our overview panel. All right? Now, 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 let's look at our campaign and then we'll go back again to look at a couple more other things. So we're going to refresh. Our campaign is published and you can now donate. And this looks a little bit different than your normal campaign since we didn't add any media, which is a Twitch stream or a YouTube stream or a Facebook stream or a YouTube video. So we don't have that camera preview that you would see on a normal Tiltify page, okay? So with this, we're gonna go into what my personal campaign page looks like, okay? So we are going to go into my latest campaign with St. Jude, and we're going to copy that campaign URL, all right? And then this is how it looks when you have media added, okay? Now, the cool thing about this is if you have a Twitch schedule, it's gonna populate here on your Tiltify page, and it'll show, you know, remind me, and I'll add it to your calendar. So if you have a Twitch schedule, it will be here too, so. You can utilize our scheduling feature as well for those special fundraising events you have, okay? So this is how a campaign looks when it's completed, all right? It shows your rewards, your polls. That's all I had for this one. And it shows our different milestones that we had, okay? And then it shows your fundraising name, the fundraising event you took part of, the cause that you're supporting, and then the team, if you are supporting a team. And with the creation of campaign, you can choose a team to support, okay? So let's say I want to create another campaign. Bum, 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 bum. So we have our campaign here, yay! We're done, we're done. So we have a waffle at the top left. It's really nice because it has all the things you need. If, it, if you wanna go view your teams, you have your teams. If you wanna view information in your account, the overlays and messaging center and your public profile, you can do that. So let's create another campaign and join a team, all right? If there are, you know, some active teams out there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's choose a thousand dreams fund. All right, we'll do tiltify. Oops. When you can type tiltify for yeah. Okay. And then we'll just put that in the description as well. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Ah, let's see. Because we need to get to our, it's skipping our team here. Usually, we can even look up a team and then it can say that you can support their event that they're having. You can look up a team. You can just look up a cause and see if there's any teams available as well. Let's look up a cause. We'll do St. Jude. Because when you look at that cause and see any campaigns that are fundraising or any teams that are, you can hit support that team, okay? So if we click this, usually it will, there we go. All right, so for the event, You'll choose that event and that cause, and you can choose to do an individual campaign or supporting a team. Let's see if there's a team. All right, there is a team, awesome. So if you hit individual, it's gonna be the normal, you know, campaign that you're doing, and you'll choose your campaign type since this specific event has one. You can do live stream, and then it's going to go to the basic information that we had, okay? But let's hit support. So if a team has created an event already, it will populate there for this cause, okay? So we'll click that one and you'll click live stream or whatever you are, okay? And then it'll go back to the basic information. So once you join that, it will populate in your campaign that you just created and it'll show 
what your what team you are supporting in an event total and everything like that. And it'll populate on your campaign as it shows on mine who you're supporting. So there you go. There you go. All right. And we are going back to our overview here. Okay. All right. So with manage. So let's go back to incentives. We made a reward for a thank you card. Okay. With this thank you card, we need a chimp. Eh, sorry. Shipping information. <laughs> And we already activated that button. Remember we hit shipping and we hit shipping required? Cool. We're gonna go to manage and it's gonna show all your donations here, all right? But if you want that shipping information, you do have to export that file with all the information. So again, you will go to your campaign, you'll click manage and click export donations and it will show all that information in that document. So. Keep that in mind because I know some people, they get confused. They don't know where to find that information. It's secure in that document. So it's not just here, you know, showing the information of that person's address on the dashboard. So you download that document and you are set to go. And you'll have that information that they inputted on that donation when they redeem that reward. That required shipping information. So... That is for the thank you card that we use, all right? And if you just wanna have your donations exported, you can just utilize that too, all right? And then here for the standalone donation viewer, you can give this, you know, this link to your mods and once you click it, it'll copy it to your clipboard. You can give that to your mods to reveal all the donations. If your moderators are helping you do giveaways or any milestones or just helping you you know, totally for your fundraiser. So that is all in the manage tab there, okay? So we have published our fundraiser. We added our incentives, our polls and everything. I showed you the overview tab because this is how it looks once you publish and you have all these fun things all in one place, which I love. And then detail, can't change your name, can't do it, okay? but. If you want to increase your goal, you'll just go back to the detail here and say we hit our $100 goal, you'll do 150 or 200, whatever your stretch goal is. And once you figure out what that stretch goal is, you'll go to your milestones and add it as a stretch goal. And you'll just make that amount, whatever amount you created for your stretch goals. So I hope you had a blast today and we covered Pretty much everything about setting up your campaign and getting started on the Tiltify platform. So thank you again for everyone tuning in. I hope you had a great time tuning in with me. And again, if we have any questions, throw them in chat. Throw them in chat. I am here to help. <laughs> here to help. Let's just take a look again at our campaign. So this is how it looks. Again, we have our milestones. It shows all our milestones that we have. We have our full schedule that we added. It shows the date and a time, which is amazing. And it shows the cause that we're supporting. And it shows my profile name. <laughs> and when you click a public profile, it will show all the campaigns that you've done, which is really cool. And then at the top here, it will show your latest one or active one. So I really like how our profiles show that information. And then here it shows our incentives, our rewards that you can select. And we're gonna see how that looks as a donor, okay? Our targets and then our polls, our mini polls that we have. <laughs> so this is how this looks on a campaign side. But if we want the donate side, we're gonna go back, okay? We're gonna copy that donate URL, okay? Copy that donate URL, and this is how the donate side looks without going all the way to your campaign, okay? So, this is the donate URL. You put in all your information, okay? You can just hit just donate if you don't wanna redeem any incentives, and you can tell your community that, all right? But if they want to redeem, okay? We're gonna, you can be anonymous, or they can, you know, show their name, which is, this right here, that's our display name. So we'll hit next, we're gonna donate $20, okay? 
we're going to choose a Just Dance song request. And that question that we created populates. Let's, let's do Lady Gaga. Ooh, can't type. Lady Gaga, select this reward. And like I said, that donation goes towards all the incentives that the donor chooses. We're gonna donate $20 towards that target of drinking hot wing soda. Okay, and we can choose polls. Okay, you can choose one of the polls to donate to for sure. Let's do changing your hair color to blue. Okay, poll selected. All right, donation method, PayPal. Okay, and once you log in and set that up and complete that transaction, the donation will go through and it will send you an email of confirmation for that. All right, so that's how that looks. And then let's go, we're gonna remove that. We're gonna go to the thank you card here, okay? You're gonna add your address there, all right? This is how it looks on the donor side. Add your address, select this reward, and that will be sent, and it will be in that downloaded document that I showed you here in the Manage tab, and you'll download that document. So there we go. There we go, there we go. We did it, chat, we did it, we did it. I'm so proud of us. But if you're wanting to disable an incentive option for anything or anything else, could you just deactivate it and keep it available for later rather than deleting it? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So let's say we're going to disable the Just Dance song request because we only did that for one stream for that campaign. And after you're done with it, we're unactivated, chat. <laughs> we're unactivated now. Let's refresh. And it, oh. I didn't even need to refresh. It is gone. It is gone. Okay. And then you want to put it back? It's back. Yep. Just a click of a button. That's it. Did you know that 62% of fundraisers on Tiltify up their goal? Really? Really? That's more than half? That's incredible. And that's, that's a good statistic because, like I said, it's always fun starting off small and then increasing. Hitting no sub goals, you know. Oh, thank you so much for that, Robin. I didn't even know that. I love that. Wow. Oh my, we did it. We went through everything and that was so much fun. And remember, they activated, all right? And you know, this is Tiltify 101. You know, if you really want to go into detail with adding all those fun incentives, it'll take you a bit. But really what makes it quick and easy is just creating your campaign. So the basic information, which is you know your campaign name, the description, and which cause you're supporting. And if you're supporting a team, you can select the team to support. And you are all set to go. And there are some fundraisers that don't utilize incentives, which is totally fine too. Totally fine. We have campaigns out there that don't utilize anything except posting their link to their campaign and that's totally fine but if you want to add more fun stuff go right on ahead we have all those fun incentives and you can utilize the overlay for your stream and definitely the qr code you know really really important especially if you're not a streamer you can just post that qr code you know to your friends on social media like hey i want to fundraise today and here's a QR code. Donate to a good cause if you want to. And we have fundraisers that don't stream. They will sell salsa. You know, we have Mob Lord that sells salsa for St. Jude Play Live every year. <laughs> There's so many fun things you could do, and you don't have to be a content creator to use our platform. So I know that's, you know, that's mainly, you know, our community, of course, since we're an online fundraising platform and we're mainly rooted through, you know, these gaming communities and content creation industries. So, yeah, but you don't have to be a content creator either to make a difference. So, there we go. We did it. Yeah, simple, super simple. It's, everything is just a click of a button, you know? And I love that about Tiltify. You want to unactivate all of these? All right, we're, we're done. No more rewards. <laughs> If you want to put them back on, okay, we got our rewards here. So, yeah, I think our scheduling feature is the least used. So utilize it if you want to. And again, it populates on your campaign here. So if we click out of rewards, it shows your full schedule. All right. 
And again, if you are connected with your Twitch, it shows your Twitch schedule on there and they can add that to their calendar too. So, and then once we, you know, go about it, there's our description. I just had a quick little title there and then it shows the actual cause description as well under that. And you can contact the fundraiser. So yeah, that's a completed campaign for you, okay? And this is our starting campaign. So it's it's fun to see the progress bar go up and you hit these milestones and you just have fun as a community. It's all about having fun and making a difference. And however much you fundraise, it is going to impact that cause 100%. So thank you everybody for watching. And I don't think we have any questions, but of course, if your friends couldn't make it to this live stream, it's going to be highlighted here and it'll be uploaded on YouTube. So they can tune in and get all the amazing detailed instructions for all our features and they'll be all set up and ready to go. So thank you, everybody. We're gonna go raid another community member. Let's see who is online. Okay. All right, let's see. We always send some love to another community member and we have a lot of them live today. Let's see. And if you never raided with us, we like to just type in a little Tiltify raid there. So make sure you copy that raid message and any emails you have, add them to the raid message. Make it fun, make it cute. And again, I am, oh, my camera. My camera froze. Hello, 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> I think my camera said we had enough. We had enough today. <laughs> my camera said we had enough today. That's fine. It's okay. It's fine. <laughs> All right, let's go send some love. Let's go send some love. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, my camera said not today. Not today, chat. Not today. Hey. We're going to go send some love to DJ Knight. DJ Knight is live right now. Playing some No Man's Sky. Can't wait to see some gameplay of that because I have not really seen any gameplay of that. So let's get it started. Get it started, get it started. And thank you again, everyone, for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And again, keep up with us on socials. There's all the social links there. Okay. Here is DJ Knight's link. Then we're gonna throw the raid their way. Here we go. All right, make sure you copy that raid message. All right, get ready, get ready, get ready. We're gonna send some love over. All right. And make sure you hit the follow, follow his stream, keep up with him. Fantastic human in our community that we adore. And my camera said, no, not today. <laughs> no, not today. It's okay. It's all right. No worries. No worries. All right. Our raid is initiated. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Please, please stay safe out there. And, you know, just look out for your family and take care of one another. I hope you all have a good one. I will see you in the next one. We will be live again on our channel on the 8th for a team recap of August. So that's going to be tons of fun. So we will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye, everyone.